Borada, a cruiser we gave Good morning and welcome to Cardiff and our 2023 graduation ceremonies. Your 2023 graduation ceremony. I'm Pat Young and I'm the chair of Cardiff University's governing body, the University Council. Over 35 years ago, I sat exactly where you're sitting today, preparing to graduate from Cardiff University. So I have some sense of how you feel, and it's a real privilege to be here today to celebrate this momentous occasion with you. May I offer a warm Welsh welcome to family, friends, and supporters, and of course to you, the class of 2023. Today, we celebrate your extraordinary achievements. Acquiring a university education is no mean feat. So I commend you for not only securing a place at Cardiff University in the first place, but also for the dedication and commitment you've demonstrated to get you to where you are today. This success is only part of your story. Many of you joined us as the full force of the pandemic was being felt. Others may have been a year or two into their studies. What we and you faced was a challenge on a level not seen since the Second World War. Throughout this period, you, our students, have been quite wonderful. You have shown patience and understanding as well as a willingness, determination and tenacity to tackle whatever has been put in front of you. For this, you should be extremely proud because everybody at Cardiff University is very proud of you. We realise that for some of you, the uncertainty continues. But do not forget, your ceremony today recognises all of the hard work you have put in and the culmination of your journey with us. You leave here today knowing that you are now part of a very special family, the Cardiff University alumni community. While you've been here, you've been taught by world-leading scholars and some of the brightest minds on the planet. That's what it says here. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Your Cardiff qualification tells the world that you're ambitious, passionate and have a brilliant mind. Embark on the next stage of your journey with all of the confidence that that brings. For some of you today, you may be tinged with sadness as you say goodbye to Cardiff. This vibrant, colourful and diverse city has been the backdrop to your journey through university. Of course, the charm and character of Cardiff is difficult to give up and some of you may have already decided to stay in Cardiff and call it home for the foreseeable future whether that's through work or further study. Either way, as you cross this stage in a short while and step foot outside the front door of this auditorium, you will be doing so as a Cardiff graduate. Cardiff University will always be your university, and so wherever life takes you, we hope that you become a flag bearer for this great institution and carry forward our values of kindness, and generosity of spirit. We simply ask that you stay in touch, come and visit us often, and share your experience of Cardiff University with the wider world. For now, I ask that you sit back, enjoy the ceremony, and savour the moment. It's another special memory to add to the collection from your time with us, and your graduation will be something you can fondly look back on in years to come. I now have the pleasure of introducing Hannah Pearce. Hannah will read the proclamation and a poem by Wales' inaugural national poet, Gwyneth Lewis. Many of you will have encountered Gwyneth's work before in the form of the six feet high words, thought to be the, literally the biggest poem in the world, which are on the front of the Wales Millennium Centre. Gwyneth has been writer in residence at the University School of Physics and Astronomy and is now an honorary fellow. This poem, Education, was specially commissioned by Cardiff University. Hannah. Education. 
Education by Gwyneth Lewis. Bathe ya vaisio, gwecha donaid, manageisio, parchad weid. Traws newidiad ddydd de glod, dydd y fodol, mentro fod. Learning the passport that returns you home a better person. It permits you to dare being daring, makes you secure with not knowing everything, helps you welcome some failure, forges an alloy with others thinking. It is simple delight in mind and its motions, scintillates but isn't deceptive, admits the joy of institutes is the open road to everywhere but bigotry. It's the shortest distance between you and me, and if you're lucky, it never ends. I will now read the proclamation, first in Welsh and then in English. Nerth Vlad i Gwybodaeth Boyd hysbys i holl ei lod ar brifysgol ac ar hyd a lled y byd bod cynulliad o brifysgol caerdydd yn cael ei gynnal heddiw ym mhrif ddinas Cymru. Wrth athri cyfroniadau rhai sydd yn nosbarth 2023, fe'i hatgoffwn o'i cyfrifoldeb i gyfrannu i werthoedd y brifysgol hon. Nod iddyn hwy yw ceisio drwy y cyfloniadau wasanaethu er lles pawb, ymdrechu i sicrhau rhagoriaeth ym mhob peth ac am boeni am ddyfodol ein byd. Grandewch yn awchus ar fo'i thuneb, gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwirionedd ym mhob cynhedlaeth. Nerth gwlad i gwybodaeth, a nation's strength is in its learning. Let it be known to all members of the university and throughout the world that today, in the capital city of Wales, a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. We celebrate the achievement of those in the class of 2023, and in doing so, remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this university. It is for them to seek to their achievements, to serve the common good, to strive for excellence on all things and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom, for it offers hope and truth in every generation. Good morning. My name is Rebecca Deverell and it is my honour today to address you as the Vice President Welfare of Cardiff University Students' Union 2022-23. May your care ever be for the good name of our university and the well-being of our world. When we embarked on our university journey, the years that we had ahead seemed like a lifetime. I'm sure most of you would agree that it feels like yesterday we were dropped off at our halls of residence saying goodbye to our friends and family and feeling apprehensive about making friends, fitting in and starting our academic journey here in Cardiff. But what at the time felt like forever goes in the blink of an eye and before you know it, you're here. You're sat in a cap and gown in St David's Hall thinking about what the future may have in store. However, what we didn't know then is, we, is that we would be leaving Cardiff having become a member of a close-knit and supportive community. When I sat down to think about what made Cardiff the special university it is, the first thing that came to mind was the community that we have built. The Cardiff community is one like no other. Whether your time at Cardiff University has been impacted by competing in a sports team, contributing to a society, overcoming barriers, or bonding with your friends on your course, you became part of a community that shaped your time here and a community that will, if you choose to let it, shape your time after Cardiff. Being an alumni of Cardiff University opens you up to a network of fellow Cardiff students, some newly graduated and some who have gone on to achieve great things who can help you do the same. Whether it be by making the most of the rich alumni network Cardiff has to offer by staying in contact with your friends and peers or by coming back and visiting the place where you had the best years of your life. 
That community feeling that Cardiff has given you during your time as a student doesn't have to end today. It is something that you can take with you wherever you go. When thinking about this speech, a quote stuck out to me. What matters in life is not what happens to you, but what you remember and how you remember it. No one could have anticipated the journey that all of you have taken to get here, but one thing is for sure, you can be proud that you are sat here graduating today as the class of 2023. I hope that you all remember how far you have come and how much you have achieved at Cardiff. It has by no means been an easy ride for you all, but it has been our diversity that has got us through our adversity. So whilst the future may look daunting now, remember this moment, take a deep breath, appreciate how far you have come and realize just how far you can go. I hope you all go on to remember the journey you have had at Cardiff fondly and keep those memories close to your heart. But most importantly, please remember, you will always have a home here at Cardiff. Diolch and thank you. Brada a chloesa cynnys i bawb. Colin Weirden dwi, Eastgang Hechlor, Prifysgol Caribbean. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Colin Weirden, the Vice-Chancellor, and we, uh, I'd like to add my own warm welcome to all of you, but particularly, of course, to our graduating students. We now reach the main part of the ceremony where uh, the students' names are read out uh, by a senior member of the university as they cross the stage. So that's the opportunity for you to celebrate their achievement. So uh, don't feel in any way inhibited. Do uh, shout and whoop if you want to and, and, and applaud wildly. Um, my only plea is that uh, just make sure that we have a chance to hear the next name so that everybody gets their chance. Uh, once each group of students has passed through the stage, I will then ask them to stand and will address uh, you in Welsh. Um, to congratulate you on behalf of all of us. And the, the sentence in Welsh that I'll, I'll use means in English, on behalf of the university, I recognise your achievement with great pleasure. So we will now move to that part of the ceremony and uh, I invite Professor Damien Murphy to the lecture. Good morning everyone. I'm delighted to be here today to present a class of 2023 from the School of Chemistry. Graduation is a highlight in the academic year for any school and we've come together one last time to recognise the achievements of our undergraduates, postgraduates and PhD chemistry students. We spent three or four years in each other's company and over that time We've had some remarkable highs and a few lows as we navigated our way through the pandemic, the day-to-day -day contours of academic life, and finally arrived at this wonderful stage where we can finally recognize and celebrate your achievements. I hope you all can be proud of what you've accomplished and achieved. And this ceremony marks the culmination of several years of hard work for all of you, and for many, the pinnacle of your academic studies to date. Your time as a student has been completely different to any other year group. But what I want to say to you today is that it has been an absolute privilege to watch you grow into the accomplished and successful chemistry graduates assembled here today. While COVID-19 ended a lot of the in-person teaching activities that you experience, we as a school we're immensely proud that we managed to redesign and completely reconstruct our laboratories to ensure that you continued to receive the full chemistry practical curriculum and all the skills that will enable you to become the excellent chemists that you are. Whatever you do next and wherever your journey takes you, remember to keep an open and inquisitive mind. Never stop learning and never stop building on your Cardiff experiences. As you cross the stage today, I hope you take with you these shared memories and achievements, along with the friendships that you've made. 
you also take with you our thanks for shaping and enriching our school and university community through your time with us. We've been inspired by you and your commitment to our values, and now we are delighted to see you go out into the world and make a real positive impact on the places that you will live and work. The Akinvar Langavarki Adai, Class of 2023. I, Professor Damien Murphy, introduce those for the degree of Bachelors of Science for Class of 2023. Talila Adams. <laughs> Jamie Allen. <laughs> Ale Kalu. Johan Bindra, <laughs> Sophie Kirch, <laughs> Lauren Jade Brooker, <laughs> Darcy Burke, <laughs> Ella May Buffley Latham. Cameron Brown, <laughs> Hannah Jane Bullock, <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Burgess, <laughs> Max Clacy, <laughs> Emily Cohen. Olivia Collins, <laughs> Parapat Danning Swan, <laughs> Harvey Singh Danjal, <laughs> Josh Elkerton, <laughs> Amy Faulkner. Harriet Fox, <laughs> Megan Francis, <laughs> Maya Frankowska, <laughs> Holly Gellander, <laughs> Hannah Faye Goodhead. Jenna K. Hastings, <laughs> Connor Joseph Higgins, <laughs> Shi Young Hu, <laughs> Harry Jenner, <laughs> Hussein Kasim. Ewan Kellett, Samuel Kingsland, Maddie Ligo, Jude Mansoor, Steen Harry Maxwell. Dermot McCaughey, <laughs> Molly Catherine McKendry, 
Nuha Mustafa. Hassim Mumtaz. Navrai Singh Nazran. Eleanor Inganga. Henry Othiambo. Barush Ozen. Carl Stephen Panis. Satsana Pereira. Fergus Petherham. Gabriel Priest. Francis Ramos. Megan Roberts. Rashid Sladunova. George Smith. Marie Taylor. Miley Thomas. Amaret Trotman. Tolga Turan. Snedoni Wade. Anna Wallace. Stephanos Ware. <laughs> Eleanor Warren. Kate Willoughby. <laughs> Faye Alexandra Wyatt. Scarlett Abrams. <laughs> Sumia Mohammed. I, Professor Damien Murphy, introduce those for the degree of Master in Chemistry for Class of 2023. Scarlett Abrams. Jeremy Alden. Emily Barnston. Gregory Bloom. <laughs> Megan Louise Broad. <laughs> Joseph Brookman. <laughs> George Camp. <laughs> ben Christie. Anna Margaret Cole. Matthew Corcoran. Jonathan Hubit. Ben Davis.
Agatha Evans. Nicole Faulkner. Macy Fairs. Ella Sophie Gardner. Thomas Goodman. Emily Harper. Abigail Jane Harris. Nathan Richard Harrison. Annabelle Henley Jones. Isabel Jane Herbert. Ethan Herneman. Amy Isrankura. Olivia Jackson. Archie Jones. Lucy Jones. Meyer Patechaha. Emily Lawler. Jada McCauley. Luca Maras. Samuel Martel. Ben Miles. Neve Miller. Paola Miguel Fosco. Azaria Molla. Moyena Lua Oambomi. Ria Patel. James Pollard. Lewis Rodway. Daniel Ryder Mahoney. Thomas Sutherland. Daniel Tinsley. Katie Tucker. Seven Vinod. Nicole Warnakula Surya. Megan Jane Weldon. Olivia Wellsby Kitley. Emily Witchell. Boyan Nikolave Yakimov. Good morning. So my name's Jenny Pike and I'm head of the School of Earth and Environmental Sciences and I'm delighted to be here today to present the class of 2023. Graduation is a particular highlight this year because of the difficult times that we have faced together over the past few years. You should be extremely proud, and I know everybody says this, but it's true, you should be extremely proud of the hard work and determination that you've shown during this time. While COVID may dominate your memories of your time at university, I want to take this opportunity to share a couple of others. Last year, we achieved over 87% overall satisfaction in the National Student Survey. This was the biggest increase from 2021 scores of any school in the university, 
and was a strong endorsement of what we're trying to do. We don't have the results from your survey yet, but more of you took part in this survey this year than in any other year, and I thank you hugely for engaging with us, and we will certainly find out what you think of what we do. We received the results from the 2021 National Research Excellence Framework last year and were very highly rated for our research, which in turn underpins the teaching that you have all received. You leave us knowing that you have been taught by world-leading academics. We also need to recognise your resilience, and I want to recognise your resilience. Our postgraduate researchers and master's students graduating today were affected by the abrupt switch in March 2020 into virtual teaching. This was a huge change for you and a huge change for all of us. For our third years, most of your first year was virtual teaching and this was a wholly new challenge that we faced together. Our fieldwork, an integral part of our programmes, was delivered differently too. During the pandemic, we designed many virtual field trips, but as soon as we were able, we earlier than many other universities, we restarted our day trips. It was a huge undertaking to follow the COVID restrictions that were in place at the time, and this involved some very early starts for many of you. And we thank you all for your perseverance and commitment through those times. We also recognise your sporting successes this year. So the school's netball team finished seventh in the Intramural League and our seven-a-side football team finished third. So well done to you all. Because of every one of you, our school and university community has been enriched. You have brought your thoughts, your spirit, your character to help shape our learning and teaching. You have inspired us. You have inspired me. We have witnessed your persistence, adaptability and strength of character. These are all attributes that will be of great help in your future careers and we're excited to see what you do next. So good luck and thank you, Class of 2023. Dr Jennifer Pike introduced those for the degree of Bachelor of Science for Class of 2023. Ben Christopher Ake. <laughs> Afnan Yousaf Saeed Alofe. <laughs> Athir Ahmed Abdallah Ali Al Moali. Oliver Olsop, Vanshika Anand, Poppy Elizabeth Anson, Christopher Thomas Arnold, Simran Akwal, Ted Hugh Atkinson. Lucy Atwood, Freya Axton, Jack Bacon, Charles Band, Daniel Thomas Bate, Rory Bateson, Robert Baxter, Oliver Bevington, Jacob Cameron Bedard, Ellie Tabitha Bernard, Emily Bolton, Caitlin Brain, Agnes Brett. Brocklehurst, Cameron James Brody, Leon Brown, 
relevante. Eliza Rose Burton. Emma Butterwick. Matthew Byrne. Evgena Paralambus. May Isabella Charles Lee Smith. Tara Cheatham. Tara Cheatham. Nico Freud. Jane Johnson, 
Jithu Joss. Lauren Hope Jocelyn. Nathan Joss. Harry Lanesbury. Isabel Alice Latushka. Esme India Lee. Maya Lewis. Bradley Lloyd Watson. Jessica Locke. Laura Kate Lovett. Katie Mann. Emily Main. Elena Marcos Espada. Vanessa Martins de Souza Dacon Casal. Robin Maslin. Laura McClinton. Jasper McCluskey. Pasco Midgley. James Mills. Ben Mitchell. Zachariah Mohammed. Cameron Montgomery. Alad Moore. Oliver Morris. Nadira Pang. Sophie Murray. Henry Newman. Matthew Nichols. Natalie Nicholas. Caitlin Jane Knight. Harry Ockenden. Jasper Corday, Odashima Parker. Elias Nethid Owen. Rebecca Owen. William Owens. Joseph Pettit. Lauren Phillips. Holly Pittman. Maxwell Porter. Ella Portlock. Jack Purvis. Lauren Rolfs. Marshall Alexander Reed Jones. Benjamin Reese, Jonathan Reed, William Jack Richards, Dominic Richardson, Kamal Shankar, Joshua Shenstone. Ethan Sibley, Charlotte Grace Skinner, Charlie Slaven, Coral Holly Stancliffe Caldecott, Dan Stock, Joe Stone. Peter Michael James Stewart, Luca Susanna, Megan Alice May Tatlow, Eve 
Charlotte Tilly. John Tobin. Minnie Turnbull Watmore. Natalie Buehler. Annabelle Wade. Hannah K. Walker. Eleanor Ward. Sean Adam Aidan Way. Thomas Webb. Georgina Woodward. Ross Wright. Callum Jeffrey Yandel. Lucas Sazi Carboni. I, Jennifer Pike, introduce those with a degree of Master in Science for Class of 2023. Simon Azelwood. <laughs> Joseph Dylan Bentley. <laughs> Francesca Rose De Chico. <laughs> Lauren Highland. Edita Lepinskaya. Gemma Lentor. Richard Mackay Stewart. Rebecca Middleton. Alistair Pierce. Annabelle Posniak. Amir Rafiq, Owen Morgan Reese, Ashley Slatter, Miles Whaley, Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Will the students who've just crossed the stage please stand? Our Anna Brivasco, the Rhine could Nabade Kerheviad, get a Fleser Maur, Longevarchi Adai Lee. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those for the degree of Master of Science for the class of 2023. Lamia Farhan Al Salem. Amrita. Lauren Bull. 
Zulu Neville Chi. Tim Cooper. Michael Doughty. Imogen Alam. Tony Beth Bullard. Jack Hildrop. Connor Hooper. William Howlett. Shania Mayhus. Shishin Jalai. Steffi Johnson. Daniel Kai. Mauro Rios. Mamta Nayak. Chikoshi Rafu. Kaila Samantha Richard. Manal Sad. Surinai Raya. Daniel Stoon. Rosalia Tuvilikashimi. Khadija Siddiqui. Tuala Sum. Callum Springer. Jacob Thomas. Carlos Turcios. Joseph Roy. Victoria Williams. Ian Sal. I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those for the degree of Master of Philosophy for the class of 2023. Anurada Bandaraike Pandabani Mudi Yansalage. The Vice Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Well, those who just cost. Will those who just crossed the stage please stand? You can't hear me, can you? There you go. Will you please stand, those who just crossed the stage? Thank you. Ar anna bi vasgo, rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrheiddiad gyda phleser mawr. Tlong y falchiadau li. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. The following students to be presented have achieved a doctoral degree and in recognition of their achievements and research they will be presented to the presiding officers who will doff in return. I, Professor Rudolf Allemann, introduce those who have received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Robert Charles Amesbury. <laughs> Owen Bynum. <laughs> Mubarak Dambata. Hylan <laughs> Davis. <laughs> Jack Fletcher Charles. Erin Harvey. <laughs> Heather Hayes. <laughs> Annalise Sara Hooper. <laughs> 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 
Max Jensen. Andrew Jones. Oliver Douglas Kennedy Britton. David Kovacic. Alexander Lander. Rodri Mornda. Fabian Morteo Flores. Carl Mockford. Nuruddin Alawlonli Onshilaya. Anna Samperis Vesayan. Corin Saunders. Alex Seastrom. Jacob Sates. Gareth Eduardo Sarmiento Smith. Anissa Harik. Priya Thomas. Benjamin John Williams. Matthew Williams. The Vice Chancellor will now con confer the award. Will those students who just crossed the stage please stand? Ar ran y brifysgol yr oen cydnabod eich ar heiddiad gyda phedair mawr, long of archiad a'i lu. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations all. You are now part of the Cardiff University alumni community of over 210,000 graduates. Cardiff alumni are great global citizens. Some are activists and have high profiles. Others are quiet, solid contributors to their communities. Some are even earth scientists like me. Woohoo! Go earth science. <laughs> Cardiff will have given you more than just a degree. You've been encouraged to ask questions and challenge conventional wisdom. You have shown willingness, determination and spirit, which are the real hallmarks of a Cardiff University graduate. The Welsh word, hiraith, is made for moments like this. It conveys a sense of place, of love, of longing, of memories. We hope that you'll keep hiraith in your hearts for Cardiff University. Before we close the ceremony, there is one last Cardiff University tradition we need to uphold. Because whilst today is all about your achievements, it's not something you could have done on your own. You've been supported by your family and friends throughout your degree. So, can I ask all the new graduates to stand? Okay. Everyone in the hall made plenty of noise for you. And now is your turn to make even more noise to say thank you to them.
Okay. That was a bit lame. <laughs> Earth scientists, I know you can do better. Chemists, I imagine you can do better. Let's please say thank you to the people who supported you throughout your journey. much more like it. You can be seated. Now, to close our celebrations, here is a film welcoming you to the Cardiff University alumni family. Enjoy it. At the end of the film, please stand as the platform party leaves and our ceremony draws to a close. Thank you for joining us and congratulations once again. Jokun Varian. So scroll through memories, come with selfies, get at besties, and stand up straight for the photographer. Say cheers. Today we remember how we got this far. The late nights and bright lights, and moments we didn't do as well as we might. Hold the viad kai, double bad kai, or wait on galad, ir dakli adai. Today we're rewarded for all the hard work. This started way back with the first steps we took. Dropped at Taliban, St. Henid, Aberdeen, and Aber Conway. He gave our flashes. He we got shavings. He nabbed for him. Nest canvas trimmed out ice in Mindy I of Katine. First dates? Soulmates. I'm gonna start crying at this rate. Today we're part of something that's hard to describe the new class of an old tribe. A tradition that'll be there our whole lives, a network that continues to help us thrive. Years from now, we'll see someone with a badge on their tie or hear people on a bus shouting Cheese drive! And we'll remember where we came from, where we came into our own, where we made our mark, Canvod Kavchev, where we found a home. Today we make noise like it's the varsity game and count ourselves lucky we found people with the same interests, hobbies, be the whole madness forming folly. People who try to shelter us with broken brollies. People who helped us find our limits and push them out of the way. People who helped us get to this point. On this day. Today is a day we mark everything we've shared. A day we tell people just how much we cared. That they were always there, even when they couldn't be. Rather than we a day I at our high level for all the long hours we've had to put in. We still had those nights that went right through till dawn, and days we dug deeper than ever before. So here's to those late night revisers and early risers, to sunny days that passed by in View Park, to that special someone who gave us that special spark and helped us to grow, to transform, to dream. Today's for that someone we're proud to have at NT. What happens tomorrow is whatever you choose. Go make news or break news that absolutely refuse to be told that can't be done because we've only just begun to make records and break records and make history and break history and say the This is the world I want to see. 10, 20, 30, 40. Years from now, you'll look back on today and realize you've been by your side the whole way. But right now, right here, let's savor the moment and say, Congratulations. Let's get the celebrations underway. Take a moment, look around you. Be well, Ochi. What do you see? We're Cardiff University. Welcome to your alumni community.